So this is the temtem private alpha, as you can see. Um, it's, as an alpha, not the full game. Uh, there's a, it's apparently quite a chunk, covers up to the first dojo, which it's uh, essentially a Pokemon style MMO, so the first gym. Um, there's no way for me to reset my character at this point, so I did do the tutorial, quote unquote, um, and went through character creation, uh, picked my first Temtem, had the first Temtem battle with the rival, a very nice, in this instance, boy named Max, who has a rare Temtem, and I believe it's scripted that you lose against him. Uh, for people who haven't been watching any Temtem stuff, um, off the bat, it's really quite different. It is an MMO uh, from from the obvious influences of Pokemon, things like Yokai Watch. Um, it is an MMO, so there are players running around the world. It feels a lot more lived in. Um, playing with keyboards, interesting. F is the use key, so I'll probably mess that up a few times. Um, and the music's really chill, and I'll be playing this until I run out of content or hit a game breaking bug, which it is, as I say, an alpha, so that's quite possible. And people have reported bugs that prevent them from progressing. Um, the first, uh, much like the you know, the obvious influences, you do choose from three Tam Tam at the start of the game. Uh, Crystal, Melee, and Mental, I think they were called. Um, I went with the Crystal Tam Tam because it's green and green is the best color. Uh, fight me. And um, I think that's it. Uh, something you'll immediately notice is that your Tam Tam follow you. Uh, which is really cool, uh, but only you can see your Temtem, -tem, you can't see everyone else's Temtem, -tem, which is just great to say. Uh, and it's mostly not a mouse game, which I realize you can't see the cursor, which doesn't matter, because as I say, it's not really a mouse game. Uh, so I'm just going to get started. Uh, I really did nothing. The basic story is that player character and Max are going to be apprentices at an academy of kind of Temtem knowledge and the first part of the game is getting there. We've met the professor, he gave me the Temtem and said meet me at this town and then kind of in the style of all good JRPGs left the young child to fend for themselves in the wilderness. Oh that's closer. The presentation is amazing, the music's really chill. Um, this is my character Kira. Or Mira. One of the two. Uh, I would like to draw your attention first of all to the map in the top right. It isn't grown up yet, but it will eventually be a map. And this green thing behind me is my Temtem. You can access the, any menu by pressing Tab, and then it tells you which Temtem you have. Um, Something really strange is, it says press X to equip, by which it means select, but Kramer are, I believe, a Spanish language studio, so there are obviously going to be some um, language issues, and then it changes the Temtem that follows you. Uh, as you can see, there are way more options than are currently available. Again, this is the alpha. There are features missing. Uh, the green bar is health, the blue bar is stamina, uh, which plays a part in the battle strategy, and the purple bar is experience. I think that's really it. Um, mirror, there you go. See, uh, temp cards are what you capture temp temp with, and bomb heals 25 hit points. It annoys me you have to quit out the menu every time. Interact is a social feature. There are other players available to interact with. And then there are no settings at the minute. Not even audio sliders, so let's do that. Let me know. Oh yeah, totally Hearthstone card. Um, it's not it's not shy in it, is it? But the animations are really sweet for um, capturing things. Oh I spoke to everyone in my test and there is a lady here who is missing 
uh, necklace, I believe. So that's a side quest. It is incredibly well. For an alpha, I mean, obviously, this is 10 minutes into the game, it is so well presented. I found. Um, two language issues, one being the equip. There's a lot of grass to mow, and then obviously step into the wild and the grass and wild tempt him appear. Oh yeah, everything is a dual battle as well. So unlike Pokemon, you aren't expected to memorize move stuff. If you press Z, it brings up what the move does. Um, damage is what it sounds like. Stamina is the stamina cost of the attack, and it drains both your stamina bar and the opponent's stamina bar, I believe. And um, priority, obviously, speed. mod I have not I played Pokemon Go recently um, but just while we're in the city center so there would really be grass areas uh, and then everyone has its juice but the, an the animations are pretty good what it is, and um, you know. that's cool. Oh, Pokemon, let's go! Yes, yes, I've seen that. Um, stare. Yeah, I, I, I've been watching some gameplay of Let's Go, and it really does look. Um, oh, and some moves like Mirror Shell. <laughs> um, they start greyed out because they have a cooldown until you can activate them, but then they have a huge stamina cost because they're better. Uh, yeah, let's go. I've been watching this gameplay and it looks pretty hype. Oh yes, of course, bird on bird action is not going to be terrible. But, um, the fact that you can see the Pokémon just makes the world feel more alive. Get a bit of health and stamina back every turn. Uh, it brings up experience when you defeat something. Uh, something this game also does differently to the obvious influence of Pokemon is um, something I'll show after. Uh, Yeah, I, I, I saw she had, and Jenny said she wants to get it, but kind of we're in the Christmas present hiatus of purchasing things right now. How's the music, by the way? Is it too loud? Uh, what was it? Squad. Yes, you can see all the... Um, You can see all of the uh, hidden information that Pokemon has, the EVs and IVs. I'm not a terribly, uh, you know, competitive player, so I don't really care about that information, but it's cool that it's there. And I'm assuming this means each Temtem can only reproduce so many times before it can no longer reproduce, which is neat. Also type, trainer name. And then you can't actually select the techniques and do anything with them, but it's cool they're there. I imagine eventually you'll be able to. America and Talk Racing Coast. Yep. Very well, just watch for Wild Temtem, they tend to prowl in the tall grass. There's also a bunch of Temtem Tems along the coast, they're spoiling for a fight. If you come across one of them, they're sure to turn you to a battle of Temtem. So far, so ordinary. What if they're hidden items? Oh, this is a two on one. So that's cool. If this survives, I'll try and catch it. 
but that's something I honestly haven't done yet. Genders, apparently, are a thing. The, uh, the character creation was pretty robust as well. I mean, you can choose to be male or female. There's a fairly wide selection of... Um, Fairly wide selection of hairstyles and clothing options. Oh, sweet. So there's no actual animation yet. That's cool. It's a bit jarring. I did think the game had crashed them. Ledger can't go off. Go down. That looks like an item. Hidden person. Nice. Haha, <laughs> finally, someone to test my skills against. Pepe the fishmonger. Dramatic chipmunk. Uh, of course, eh, no, it's Pepe. The best Tem Tem Tamer of Zadar. Well, I was expecting someone from the dojo, but I guess you'll do. You're officially an apprentice now. Shouldn't you be helping Fiametta? Zounds, is she looking for me? Well, I'll go home as soon as we're done here. They just couldn't escape the French. So the pick a pick is a Temtem that was given as a plushie um, during the original campaign on the Kickstarter because this was crowdfunded. And it turns out it's quite large. Or will be when it arrives. I guess it's a wind type as well. The wings should have given that away. But this is coming out for PC. Nintendo Switch, and I believe normal consoles as well, like the PlayStation and the Xbox, but I'm not sure, too sure about that. Obviously this is the alpha, there's going to be an early access on Steam next year, and full release 2020. I'm kind of hoping that Pick-a-Pick -pick would be dead. Conscious, faint, whatever. And the uh, the devs, Kramer, have been pretty communicative on Kickstarter for the most part. So um, that's cool. Knocked out, there we go. Unconscious. Level up. Do I learn shrill voice? Hmm. The move descriptions are pretty amusing for the most part. Uh, can I use the cursor for this? I can. You've earned 43 pansons. Time time up. a little. Guess the professor taught you right. Well done and congrats. I'll try to find some newbie tourists to fight against. Bye. Yeah, but nothing down there. Oh, whoops. This isn't going to end well. Hi, young one. Would you care for a little friendly Temtem match? Don't bother the students, Oren. They're probably on their way to the academia. You're going to make them be late for class. Consider this a practical lesson then. There will be times when you'll be fighting two tamers at the same time, or fighting alongside your friend like we always do. Let's see how you do. Did I say how you do Fido or how you Fido? Fido. Tateru. This is not going to end well.
Sweet purple hair though. Digging the matching colour scheme. Bit of stamina back. Should have used that the first turn for the AoE, but there we go. Oh, it's not that great. Tenderness. Curse your adorableness. Curse it. Now, as you can see, I didn't, don't have any stamina, so I wasn't able to... You, you take damage when you have no stamina and you, you attack. So that's an extra layer of strategy to the game. Resource management. I've earned 45 pantons. Don't hold back, come at us. I just came at you. Well done, you'll be a great tamer one day. So I remember the time I got my first time time, I was so nervous I... That was fun, but the unwind has somewhere to be, darling. Farewell, apprentice. Cool. Well, I need to heal up, so... Run through the grass, and... I don't know who heals you. Uh, that's going to be a problem. Is it in the lab? Jealous of Max and you, you guys are going with the Professor, the Brikal de Mar, Brisal de Mar. I'll have to stay here and pack up the rest of the lab. Oh well, no. So this is where you choose your first Temtem. You can actually see them um, in their kind of little habitat area. Sure, we're going to miss Prof Constantinos. Here's the best Temtem reference library outside of Properton College. I guess I have to move to Aubrey to continue my studies. Oh, I'm going to assume parent. Oh, you can see other people's temtem now. That's cool. Oh, your back mirror. How is the academia going? Learning a lot. That's a lie. I haven't been there yet. Excellent. You always said you wanted to be a temtem tamer almost as soon as you learn to talk. I'm so happy to see you making your dream real. Before you disappear again, let me take care of your temtem. You're going to need them in top condition for your next adventure. There, I healed them. Take care of mirror. So, parent. I will be returning here a lot. Uh, wrong button. Cool. Just get the Pajaro trained up. I assume that's the way to the next town. So, for the moment... Kick that chest, kick it real good. Uh, go the other way. Whoa, whoa, wait, don't attack. I'm not saying I'm just training here. Training what? Free running is a great way to get fit, much healthier than all those Tem Tem battles you lot are so fond of. I don't want to make the effort myself instead of making others fight for me, and the Praetian Coast is a great training ground. Sounds interesting. It is, and very good for you too. For instance, have you tried jumping over ledges like that one right there? You can jump over it when you approach from the right side. Of course you can't climb up again from the other side, but running around it is half the fun. Run, jump, run, never stop moving. Jump. Fight me, bro. Sweet hair. Hey you, this is supposed to be my spot. You've come to pick all that sweet stuff lying around. Well, me too, so tell you what, let's fight. Excellent. A, a wind type is not going to be useful in the slightest. Like death by a hundred cuts. But this is just one of them. That's friendly version. I guess it's just going to lower defense for me. If it hangs around long enough to.
the whole stamina thing, I think status moves like lowering defense. Oop. How do I? How do I? Dead. Escape. Escape. Um, will be more important than I generally find them in Pokemon as a casual player. Victory is mine. Ow. The other stuff for this game is incredible. I love it so much. Sure. That's not going to do much. Oh, Pahara survives another turn. Fool, victory will be mine. Kind of curious then about speed stats and things. I guess it's just a high priority attack because they're both the same speed. And 50 pensons, winner takes all. But I'm expecting. Um, oh, you're a tough one. Go ahead. Whatever you find, you've earned it. Why is why is my crystal wet? Interesting. I'm expecting crystal types to be kind of slow but have uh, high defense values. Yeah, defense is its highest SV, speed is its lowest. Fight me. Remember Mirror, watch out for wild time time whenever you wait into high grass, and if you fancy a battle, just find one of the tamers. Oh, okay. Um, was I in the grass? I guess I was. Just mash that F key. My defense, whatever shall I do? So that's priority two. Ah, that's just a much faster move. That would be that would, that's why it keeps going first. And of course when the um, when the full game comes out in a few years time I'll probably look into training SV and TV stuff at some point, but I'll be playing it super casually with my partner, so maybe not, because uh, there won't be multiple characters. I believe there's going to be a uh, like this, where it's just normal gameplay, and then you can have a quote-unquote Nuzlocke style game where you, I assume it'll be the same as um, Pokemon where you uh, have to catch the first creature you, time time you encounter, give it a nickname, and then if it gets knocked out in battle, it's gone. But I do, I do like how the run, the run cycle changes when you're in grass. That's cool, cool, cool. Um, Feature. Like, I have to assume that there will be hidden items because there are these. Okay, well, that's adorable. Um, little nooks and things everywhere. You know what? 
it's one of those instances where it's a new game and I've no idea what's actually worth catching and what isn't. So everything's... Yeah, there's animations for the capturing. Everything's going to be caught until I know otherwise. And it is an alpha with account wipes and stuff as they update the game. So... Um, obviously, the... Uh, the next go around, I'll know more about the game, so I'll know what isn't as useful to have, etc. And I'll probably stream every alpha that I can because it's fun. Uh, wait. I assume the other one has changed position. on the field. Not my attack, whatever shall I do? I believe waiting also lets you recover stamina. Not that I'll ever find out. But it's a nature type. And is incredibly cute. And there are kind of uh, internal team guidelines about naming the Temtem. Uh, part of the Kickstarter campaign was uh, name suggestions for some of the Temtem. Oops. And they were very clear about the inspiration. Oh, you, get, you do get a surfboard. That's kind of the end of the alpha so far. Making too much noise, stomping around like that. Look what you did, you scared off all the water tam tam. I'm sorry, bro. I actually took Asa from here. I've only had a surfboard. Uh, so the, the, the concept of the world is everything's on an island. Uh, this is Deniz, I believe. And then took Asa is the next one, etc, etc. And Untamed Swally found you. So let's see if there are... None of these are wind. That's mental, neutral. I've never understood why a move called Peck is a neutral or normal type in Pokemon. Actually, Peck in Pokemon's a flying type, ignore that. Why Peck isn't the wind move in this? Let's check, see if that regains stamina, if it survives. Hypnosis, a brain hack developed by Oborian mind specialists. Make the targets asleep for two turns. Yes, that is a big difference. Um, Kramer were keen to point out with the competitors. There's no random chance in this. All the attacks deal a static value of damage. Um, apart from when they're super effective or less effective. Um, and status effects last for a set number of turns. How's it doing on health? Oh, I can examine the Swally. Uh, nature type. Are either of those actually offensive? I don't think they are. Obviously I can't check right now. Hopefully eventually they allow you to check in the menu. Been up that way. An untamed Kaku found you. Do they have the same priority? It will just cost a few more points of stamina. Did 
Once Bahara gets to level 7 now, probably swap it out for Swally to try and get everything up to roughly the same level. Oh. That's cute animation. I dig it. Three turns of poison. I feel like there should be a text prompt there. I want this Temtem. I've caught this Temtem. Another nature type. Lot of health. So the next thing is do status effects last after battle? I think it did. Looks like it. Just counts down, ticks down after battle. That's cool. I will just mash the F key. Oh, I never, never checked what the item I picked up did. I assume it's just a healing item, but no longer poisoned. is going to have a different environment so then this is where like the nature temtem live um, and there's fire temtem things like that so I expect each battlescape but each island will have different battlescape scene and kind of animation stuff as well This game is so cute. I feel kind of bad for knocking them out. So close to level 6. How, about, how am I doing health wise? Oh, okay, for now. Uh, just swap those two for now. Let's see if wind attacks do more damage than against nature types. Good morning, hunting for our Temtem You know what they say, it's not how many catch, it's what you do with them. I know, I know. Sure, good hunting. I wonder if you can instigate fights with Temtem trainers. Good. Go back and talk to her, I guess. Uh, this is a... Yep, that's a wind type. say times two damage so I'm going to assume not there is a chart they put out uh, during the Kickstarter campaign that I might look at after I'm done here just hit both of them and then hypnotize that one but I've been streaming for 30 Five minutes now and it does not feel like it in the slightest. Oh good, I can see how long the status effects last on the opponents as well. Right. So. 
currently at five. I've been getting two back. Wow, okay, that is 100% worth doing. I appreciate that I'm... My voice is very kind of disinterested and objective, but it's just my voice um, and my, my speaking style. So if you've been watching for th this long, listening this long, thank you. Uh, hopefully it's at least entertaining. And showing you Tem Tem in its best light in, in the alpha, where things can and will go wrong. Should have brought some picnic. Okay, so you only get one chance to fight people who don't. <gasps> climbing. They'll be climbing in the game. That was it. <laughs> I wish there was Charizard in this game. Uh, Vital Apple. Apple a day keeps the 1010 better away. Restores 25% HP? That just restores 25 HP. Ah, so there is. That's cool. Miracle Potion, potion enough to bring back a knocked out Temtem, revives 50 HP and stamina. And then the Tempedia, which I can't do anything with yet. But I can only assume it'll be the Pokédex. Also, I have 458 Pansuns. So this novice here pestered me to teach him how to climb. We come all the way out here and now he's left his equipment back home. It's ridiculous. I mean, look at this rock face here. I'd climb that in no time if we had the proper gear. This is what I get for giving noobs a chance. Oh dude, wish I hadn't forgotten my climbing equipment back at the hotel. Now we're going to have to go all the way back to Arisola. You, you wouldn't have to have climbing equipment. No, sorry. Yeah, I didn't have much hope. I just have the same thing. Yeah. Oops. Only problem with everything being the F key, as far as I know, is... Can't do what you do in Pokemon Centers and just mash B when you're done so you don't accidentally trigger the conversation again. Uh, how am I doing on health? I'm sure that it'll be fine. I'm Sarah. And I'm Lara. Zara and Lara. And together we are... The Lethal Twins. That's right, Lara. I'm Zara. That's what I said. No, you... I mean, I... Anyway, prepare for battle, stranger. Uh, Zara? Who, me? No, they looked at me. Why you? Well, if it was me, then... No, you're mistaken, I'm... No, what they mean is... Mentis, I, am I Sara? Lara. They said Lara. I'll beat you both anyway. Ha, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Attempt time level 2. And 3. Oh, but they have 4. And FOMU has one heck of a quiff going on right there. There are quite a few different types of Temtem. This kind of foamy looks like a narwhal wrapped in a cloud. Um, I assume it's a water type. Um, yeah, there are a few different types of Temtem. Pretty much broadly speaking, they're the same ones you find in everything like nature, fire, water, crystal, wind, as uh, digital. Oh, they have idle animations, and they're adorable. Um, melee, mental, and a few others. So there's plenty of options for strategy, if that's your kind of jam. Let's rest. No longer asleep. Not the bubbles, they have turned on me. And then... Sh 
should knock it out. Yeah, there we go. And then Paharo is 100% going to need to rest next turn. Ooh, that's not good. Saipat, get ready. Although I'm... That duck has a trident and a helmet. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, I'm kind of wondering if the only way to increase your stamina is to overexert your temtem. Let's just... It's cra oh, okay. Uh, down, there we go. Uh, which, yeah, totally not far fetched. I mean, it looks really cool. The helmet is really cute. Bamboozle. Sapat doesn't need to rest, but sure. Uh, also, these the moves with timers, um, countdowns, I guess just rely on turn in battle, not how long the Temtem's been out. Uh, the 2i it was given to me by the professor as well. I didn't have to catch that one. You start with two, I assume, every time. Let's see if this is a wind type. I'm assuming it. Oh, shoot. Oh, dear. I'm meant to rest. Ooh. That's not good. That felt bad. So that's what you don't want to do. I may have mashed F too quickly. Uh... Uh, oops. I will remind you once again, this isn't alpha, there are problems. Uh. Okay, I'm going to just quickly have to close the game. Let's just let's just give that a quick close and reload it. Yeah. And hope OBS picks it up again. There we go. Where will it drop me? So Sarah and Lara have disappeared. Um, themselves, defense plus one, attack minus one. There we go. Take that, not far fetched. Horror than Windblade, Lashes and Gales like the Frozen Tremontane Howling of the Loch. Cool. So the stamina just, I guess, goes up randomly. Because Swali hadn't lost any, hadn't been ever existed. And earned 63 pensons. Oh, it's blinking at me. Uh, 
Uh, so... Ah! I don't think I can make it to the next town as is. Comfortable, like, we'll say I'm comfortable in. So let's just, let's just take it safe. I'm assuming a lot of crystal moves themselves are going to have a low priority as well. Out of the grass, you fool. And then this way. So as I've said, the presentation, really cool. Music's really cool. Um, Crystal is adorable. I will 100% be keeping them behind me as much as I can. I feel like in the final release, there might be kind of fades to black at that scene, just so you know when the healing's happened. Back up the Procyon Coast. There's no actual map. You can see the compass. I assume that's going to be a map um, eventually. And uh, friends and guild support, which is cool for people who are into that aspect of MMOs. Oh, that's fine. Um, I, unless I find IRL friends who play this on final release, I probably won't go into it that much, but. Go away, we're in the loss because of her. You mean you? No, I. Ah! Um, but Mirror, my character, uh, will probably be my character during the alpha. Might be mixed up for the early access beta period. Squad. You know what? Instead of. Running on foolishly to get to the next place. Let's train up some of my lower level Temtem. That's the wrong button again. Nope. That's the one. Uh, let's just hang around at the starting patch of grass. Do some swift grinding. That was the wrong way around. The Swally doesn't have damaging moves. Never mind. Take toxic spores in return. Thank you. Shy Shield. So I can only assume that the countdown timers are cumulative rather than resetting. I should probably should have tried that rather than getting the defense up, but there we go. So it's quite a low stakes thing, so I can check that quite easily. Not tenderness. 
Whatever shall I do? Poison you again. Oh, so you can't reapply a status effect if they're currently suffering that effect. Good to know. So I wonder what determines the... amount dealt by the conditions. I believe it's always been dealing 32 damage, unless it's 32 plus something on the poke on the Temtem's end. Oops! Should have rested. Doesn't matter that much. And as I said, I can't check move information outside of battle, so that's cool. I like the fact it's always you always have two Temtem -tem out, um, so you can train up a weaker one. I don't know if I'll get there today because of times and everything, but I, I'm aiming for a team of level 10 Temtem before I get to the next town. That's something I've always done in other games of a similar style. Try to kind of level up 10 for the first town, then 5 between every other town. sometimes that's not enough and then I spend hours just grinding out experience um, to get up 10 levels between like a town and the next uh, 12 it's almost there I assume that was the last tick of poison just backwards and forwards Till something bites. I'm gonna have to switch to two eye in a moment as well. Oof, that was close. Let's just let's just switch Temtem now. That seems like a good plan. Uh, I guess two Y, and then just rest to get some defense up. And again, I can only assume in later alphas, the early release and. For the excess in the final release, there will be animations for all of changing out Temtem. -tem. I'll be honest, I was getting worried it wasn't going to give me the... Um, it says 42, 
Unless that means split across both, which I guess it might to be fair. Uh, 12 of 21. You monster. Look at it. How's, how can you how can you willingly attack something so cute? Although I guess I'm beating up equally cute Temtem, so slightly hypocritical. So close, so close to leveling up. Uh, I guess I'll just do this. And overexertion will kill Kaku, so. So yeah, that just half. So type effectiveness is a thing. Did it just exert? I believe it just overexerted itself. Ha ha, you tease. Anyway. Back to Ira. Ina? One of the two. Ina. Oh, and this is the room that you started it, that I started in. Um. Pick a pick plushie. It's adorable. And I hope it will be equally adorable when it arrives in a few this time. And going through doors for some reason makes it look like my crystal is wet. So that's fun. Outside of JRPGs, of course. Experience grinding. I'm waiting for someone to jump out at you, so you can grind for experience. Uh, I don't have a Tateru, so I will try and capture it. I am hoping when the final game is. Actually, I want to capture it, I don't want the old time machine one. Uh, when the final game is released, there will be a comprehensive wiki. Explaining the naming convention, the, the inspiration behind the names. I think that would be rather swell. You do a little dance. It won't save you from the horrors of a Tam Tam card. Of a Tam card, sorry, but you can dance that to me. as quickly as possible to limit damage taken. see if I can do this without screwing it up. So if... What am I? 17? 14 even? I, that should do it. Something I've realised is that there is nowhere to purchase Tem cards in Zadar. So that's cool. Uh, it's neutral type, put it in my squad. I believe that's all of the Tem Tem in this area caught. Carded, whatever. Last Friday, I guess. That was a weak joke. I'm sorry. Sweet. 
crystal dust. Ooh, that low case D. Miniature version of the star rain that is said to have spawned the archipelago. 62 damage, 11 stamina. Oh boy. Yes, please. Yeah, I guess we've got Crystal to level 10 and start working on 2 Empire while training up Swaley and Tataru. Alright, let us try Crystal Dust. Oh, that's right! I think the um, so the little plus on Crystal Dust top left, and then the, obviously Kaku what? Okay, um, I think it means if you use it when you've got a Temtem of that type in your in in the battle, you get extra effects, which in this instance obviously deals more damage and gains a higher priority. This is going to be completely overkill, but it's going to be worth it. I feel like, obviously this is the alpha, so there are features missing, but I feel like there are going to be more attack animations than just that. For every Temtem, -tem, uh, for every move, sorry. And Temtem, -tem by extension. I also th think that I read somewhere, and I could just be making this up, um, that each move isn't limited to one kind of ally type. So that's a Kaku is being a nature ally. Um, other different Temtem types might influence the move, I think. I could be wrong on that though. But I have no way of checking right now. Which is annoying. Oop, came out of the grass. Can't grind for experience by beating Temtem if you're not fighting Temtem. Look at that adorable little bird face. Something, of course, great about the stamina system and not having PP is that I can use the same move over and over again and not worry about it running out of PP for when grinding. Which extends the ability to grind incredibly because you're limited only by health at that point, and the amount of grinding I like to do in these games, the style of game, means my health is always going to be incredibly high compared to the damage output of the time time I'm grinding. That person just ran through a fence that uh, I'm grinding against, or grinding XP from, I guess is a far less dodgy way of phrasing it. I'm just going to rest to skip the animation for um, Shy Shield. I feel like getting to level 10 might take a lot longer than I expected. I might content myself with level 7 on everything. Just for the sake of, of, of stream entertainment purposes. Speed plus 1. Sweet. 
wind type move. So with that being said, like, the trouble is Kaku doesn't have any offensive move other than Poison Spore. So, what to do? I mean, Tathru does either, no. So the three on the right don't have any offensive moves. Con uh, consistently offensive moves, which is a problem. So they're always going to have to be paired up with something with us. Might as well just keep them in these tiers and then Crystal's benefiting from being a Kaku so when Kaku hits level 7, swap out for another. Um, actually, you know what? I'll just swap out for another pairing now. So, swap and swap. back out far enough. I guess just stack defense on Swally. It's not going to be doing anything. Stellar moves there from the uh, from the AI. I guess I'll just keep doing that. They can't do any damage to me, so. And I'll just keep resting with Swally then, because they can't actually deal damage, I've just realised. As I said it, I was like, oh yeah. Chat, I'm not a smart person. Ooh, big five, so I'll have to rest afterwards. Hatteru's existence is extended for one turn. So if you notice, when you overexert yourself, it the stamina cost becomes health cost. Double rest. Skip animations. possible just to speed up the grind. Kind of hope eventually that there will be a hot key sh sh of some kind for rest in battle. So, level four. Shout out to the two following. Oh, I've just noticed at the bottom, bottom right, there's a level. Temtem, Temtem -tem level, health and experience bars. I mean, they've done slightly different things, and there are games like Yokai Watch that are basically the same game as well, so. But yes, there's some elements that are similar. Stamina over PP is.
quite different. And adds an extra layer of strategy to the game, which is something that uh, Kramer wanted to do. But it's kind of one of those things where it is popular. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and if you run out of uh, stamina, it takes it out of your health instead. Um, about half an hour ago, I knocked this 2i out by not paying attention to stamina. And you can... Um, there's, the cursor. there's no cursor in battle. The icon that's currently kind of white with a clock, that's a rest and you get 10 stamina back instead of making an attack. And if you look on the 2i's health bar, that portion at the right hand end is because it takes health because there isn't enough stamina to fuel the attack but it it's cool because not limited to uses during grinding because the stamina just refreshes at the start of every battle certainly in this incarnation of the alpha at 0.1.3 Uh, it seems randomly determined if it's a duel or a single battle, which is cool. I just wish this damn Tem Tem had offensive moves. Uh, as it's the alpha, um, and I've not really explored that kind of aspect to it, kind of very bare bones I imagine. I'll show you when I've finished this epic stare down. Um, the currently available social features and obviously because it's the alpha it's limited to kickstarter backers of a certain tier so the player pool isn't great or isn't terribly large um, but I believe you can do pvp already I think that's in the game Judging from what I saw when I did the... Oh, that's why. I completely didn't pay attention to the half damage. Um, wind versus wind, of course. Uh, yeah, when I did the tutorial, quote-unquote, there were some people talking about fighting each other, so I assume PvP is in it. Um, but as I haven't exhausted the content, the PvE content yet, I've not really looked into it that much. Saving on those animations just to speed things up. Non turn. But if it go back to the 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 um obvious influences on the game kind of every popular MMO has influences from some of the RPG that are there on the surface but then like with the, the stamina and the different type matchups and things like that there are enough differences for the game to not feel like a carbon copy I did it again I keep doing it Fine if I was trying to capture the damn thing, but I'm not.
there we go. So, um, it took longer than expected. I'm regretting so many choices right now. So, clearly bottom left is a chat box. Um, and then you can open up the options menu, the, the, the menu, and there's a... Currently you can interact with people. And there's a, obviously a list of active players that you can interact with. I imagine eventually those headshots will be the character created avatars. Um, so I don't know how you actually go about PvP, but there's a greyed out competitive option and friends option and guild, uh, club option. And on the fly customization and emotes. Um, so you can talk to people and interact with them somehow. I've not really explored that kind of thing because, as I say, I've not finished the alpha content and my Temtem aren't terribly high level. Another player. You can see them in the world and um, sometimes you can see their Temtem following them like mine is. It seems very hit and miss at the moment. Too far. There we go. Yep, enter is typing in chat. So is reasonably interactive, I guess, is the answer to the question. For the state that the game's at. Wish these fights didn't take so damn long. Early game grind is real. Especially when half my team has no offensive capability. Yeah, and this is... Well, as I say, this is alpha. Um, this covers you up to the first dojo, which is like the gym. Um, and I think it's the entirety of the first main island of the game, and there are like eight islands. Uh, each island themed around different environments. So a lot of the Tamtam -tam here are kind of nature and wind types. Um, actually, uh, hopefully it doesn't crash while I alt-tab out. If I can find my cursor, I can tell you what's in the game. Because they sent out an email c with the contents. Uh, so I'll be reading off the list while I continue this battle. Uh, so, um, what you can do in the alpha, find bugs, report them in the forum, wait in line for server maintenance, Kremer have an amazing sense of humour, explore the island of Denis, pick your starter Temtem um, from a crystal type, melee type and mental type, create character with basic customization, get the surfboard, first key item, run alongside other players, fight other players, find, battle and capture an untamed pick a pick which is their um, their mascot, Temtem, uh, NPC PvE battles, uh, beat the game's first dojo, use basic items and it's got basic controller or uh, keyboard and mouse support. Localization isn't a thing. Tem Tem Thirteen is not in the game yet. There's no fully developed, fleshed out social options. You can't trade. You can't study abilities and things. Uh, there's no formal competitive tournaments. Not every technique's in the game. You can't go in every house on the island. Uh, you can't catch every Tem Tem. There's only about thirty in the alpha, and you can't catch shinies or as they're called, Luma. But there's still a fair amount of content, especially because of the game type of game it is. Obviously it's kind of grind heavy. And three of the Temtem you can catch on the first route don't have offensive capability at lower level, as I've said a few times now. So um, the battle's gonna take longer than it ought. A 
but you can split XP and stuff, so. I don't believe there's a way to have a single Temtem out at one time to double up XP rewards either. I hope this I hope this knocks it out, otherwise we're gonna have to rest. There we go. Oh, and there are some um, some moves are better. There we go. As this is a good example. So Urishol is a toxic move, and if you have uh, a toxic ally out, it does uh, it lasts for an extra turn. And then one of the abilities for Crystal, my starter, um, if there's a nature ally on the field, that ability does more damage. Which is an ex like really cool synergy mechanic. And even though I like I'm having such a good time with this in the alpha, um, I'm probably going to buy the game twice because I'm getting it on the Switch anyway. But I'll probably grab it for Steam when I can. Yeah, 100%. Unfortunately, I don't have any toxic. Tam Tam at the minute. I don't know if they're in the alpha, but um, to show Orishal off. But as you can see, the top left corner has the blue cross when it has that extra um, capability. And I believe <laughs> just barely flopped the ground. That's amazing. Uh, I believe eventually the Social features will include co-op play, but I'm not sure about that. It's been a long time since I read the um, campaign notes for the Kickstarter. But everything is horrendously adorable so far. And I will be putting all of these up on YouTube, like all the time time I play up on YouTube anyway, so if you want to check later, let's move the cursor out of the way, um, in the alpha, it'll be up on YouTube for later view. But I'll try and stream everything. Probably, <laughs> probably just stream this until I finish the alpha and then go back to playing Sword Coast Legends. Because this has been an hour and a half nearly, and it's not felt like it. And if you leave the, um, if you don't select to move in enough time, they do have idle animations that are just the attack animation without any particle effects, which is great. That's why it levels up again. Might swap that out. Because it can defend itself now. Unlike Kaku, which cannot. The, uh, Kaku is only a nature type. Ah, you fool. Yeah, nature type. But hey, it can have defense and speed up. That's great. Uh, you can't currently study your abilities outside of battle either. So I can't, for example, click on this and bring up more information. Which sucks, but again, it's the alpha, so...
Oh, and you can see all the hidden stat values that are in other games. But they're right there. Yeah, well, they, I guess they wanted to get the um, the alpha up and running for playtesting purposes and server stability stuff, so... Like, you just press Z and it brings it up in battle, so... It's not that big a deal. Oh, um, I don't know how long you've been in chat, but... Like, sure, voice is grayed out here. Some moves have a countdown before you can use them in battle. Usually the more powerful ones. Not pet the Windblade, you full peck. Again, it's more. Com it, it is way more tactical. Shrill Voice is the one that does AoE. Um, Crystal, my starter, has one that is special defense of two. And they usually have a higher stamina cost as well because they're more powerful. I am super casual, so I don't really care about the. Um, Competitive aspects of of that layer of strategy. But um status effects for example have a finite length and you can see that on screen. Uh, there's no random elements in the game as far as I'm aware. Everything's a fixed value. I think the eventual idea is to have like a, a band system in competitive, but I could be making that up as well. I can check that right now, actually. Um, yeah, competitive will have ranking, pick band phases, and obviously far more balancing. So for a tiny Spanish studio, they know what people want, and they're going for it. I mean, I assume they're tiny. I have no groundings for my knowledge of the size of Kremlin. But I believe their only other game is Immortal Redneck, so... But they made a big point in one of the Kickstarter updates about how there's no embargo on this, so it can be streamed. Just to make people aware of the problems that it's in Alpha and stuff like that. And for anyone you know, just tuning in, um, I mentioned earlier that there is a it's it's a fairly well fleshed out character creator. Um, you've got full choice of uh, a wide choice of colours for pretty much every item, skin tone, hair, every clothing item, and there's a decent selection of all of the above um, available. And you can even customise backpack and bedroll options. Why did I do that? I know that's a win type. Every damn time. I nearly did it again as well. I. Oh boy. I can only assume at some point, probably when I get to the next town, um, 
there will be some way of storing my Temtem. That's the wrong button. Because uh, when you capture one, you have the option to send it to squad. Um, oh, there's also there's also a mount option. So eventually, I guess you'll be able to ride big enough Temtem. Uh, yeah, so you can, I assume, when you catch, or eventually when you catch Temtem, you can have them in, in your squad immediately or send like a computer equivalent. Yeah, sure. I might not be playing for much longer, but enjoy whatever you're doing. If it's something to be enjoyed, if it's something to be adulted, you know, adult well. attack value. Okay, so that's defense. Cool. Yeah, I just have can down each time you use it. Cool. Um, remove one threat from the field. Something I feel would be good, possibly, is when you rest, if you got a tiny amount of HP back, just so the turn doesn't feel as wasted. Obviously, stamina plays a large part of the game, but... Um, if you're not doing anything per turn, it kind of feels bad to have no other effect. It's got health, enough to spare. Scratch, yes. Now defend itself. any way to rearrange abilities. Okay. You ground pound that floor. There doesn't appear to be any way to swap movement uh, ability loadouts, as in position. Get a noise and can't do anything with it. That's fine. That's fine. Hopefully they'll add that in.
cursor out of the way. Because it plays primarily with the keyboard. Um, something I forget to do. Little chicken devil. doing this more often. Let's just get rid of the Tataru. Could you not, Devil Chicken? Salmon's kind of incredible. Uh, sure. I don't suppose it really matters at this point, but put you to sleep. It's the adorable foot thing. Guess me every time. Okay, did hypnosis not take? Interesting. Weird. Uh, no, it's still the lowest level thing I've got. So I need to go and heal. There's a chicken following me. Down these poor defenseless neutral temtem. For the um Okay, so that's attack now. Is Windblade a special attack? I can only assume yes. Peck would make more sense to be a physical attack. terribly fussed about SVs and TVs right now because again this is the output my account's gonna be wiped at some point so I'd rather get a handle on the basic game loop and how the game works before heading into extreme training also I would just let people other people work out the most efficient way of raising them but I'm also as I've said Super casual, I'm not terribly concerned with the competitive aspect. 
I want to play a nice chill JRPG style game. And if it involves a bit of trapping adorable creatures and digitizing cards, cool. So be it. So Peck has no stamina decrease when it hits you. Interesting. I'll be 100% honest though. Um, that is not the animation I envisage when someone says scratch. Or the sound effect, but the sound obviously is subject to change in the early access. Does it change automatically? It does, oh good. Keep going for experience. I appreciate this won't be to everyone's tastes, just watching this essentially over and over, but it's oddly... I've always found it really relaxing, just grinding experience in games. And when the game is this good looking and sounds this good, this is a good way to spend a few hours. soundtrack on Kickstarter as well and that is going to be probably my go-to ambient music for a while it is so good you can do it you can get to level 8 demon chicken Have it now. Too many demon chickens in this world. Yes, level eight. I think it's all over at this point. Let's 
It's gonna, it's getting close to level 6. I wonder if... I cannot remember off the top of my head if it... Um, Okay, it doesn't give you a 16 out of whatever value. That's annoying. Maybe it will eventually. You're about to have a bad day, Pajaro. check something when it flashes up the stat screen at the end of the poor creature's lifespan. Yeah, I guess that's why. Now and then you can see the chicken in the grass behind me. It's also splashing water for some reason. Who knows why? I certainly don't. So clearly, you need something other than a, a special attack move other than Wing Blade or Wind Type on a Pahara. Just to deal with the fact that if it is against the Wind Type, it's just it's not great because its attack value is lower. Oh, sweet. Nibble. Many Temtem have this habit of gently chewing plants or furniture. This is a little less gentle. Everything goes up. Cool. So it's now level six. So can I heal it up? I believe is the only one currently that cannot. Yes, it does has no offensive ability. So if we swap the two, kind of babysit Kaku so it can learn something that gives it an offensive capability. Maybe that'll help. Poison. My main concern with this whole thing is that, um, well, this will be for not try trying to build this inclusive community of cool people who are like, collaboratively, creatively minded. And Article 13 happens and European streamers can't really do anything anymore. Because of copyright th threats, shutting down the pl essentially shutting down the platforms for them. Hopefully it won't happen, but I'm not 
terribly optimistic as a person, so obviously I'm not going to be surprised if it doesn't. Also, Pahara's health is terrible. Um, so, for anyone watching this afterwards, um, yeah, Article 13 might strike, and Twitch and YouTube will suffer. Potentially. Probably. And if you don't know what Article 13 is, uh, go read up on it. It's uh, the European Directive for Copyright or something. But it would essentially mean that independent creators couldn't use other people's material. So streaming's out, apart from those social streams and creator streams. Um, rearrangements on YouTube, that kind of thing will be gone. rest after this. Ah, ha, ha. curses. However, I can just ignore it now. Sure, that's an animation onto the fight, but it's not actually a threat. As expected, it has been vanquished. Devil chicken. I guess just cancel the animation, save time. Uh, stop the Paharo! Go top down this time. Uh, at some point soon, I should probably. Stop playing and go and do stuff around the house for my partner to return home. It seems, as a rule of thumb, does not have great health. Um, so that's cool. Glass cannon. Or maybe it was just the Paharu I caught, just wasn't a terribly great example of the species. But 
I'm too invested at this point. With this Pahara. Uh, we'll have just a, we'll have a rest. survive this turn? Shouldn't, being the operative word. There we go. Give me that sweet experience re reward. Kaku's getting there, hopefully when he gets to level 7. It will get something useful. But I am not expecting much. Battle strategy at this point. Peck, toxic spores. Peck, rest, peck, rest. It's alright having the ability to go to increase your speed at will, but not when you can't use it. Also, I do apologize for all the horrible swallowing noises. The stair, whatever will I do? And you're dead. Damn it. GG too soon. Classic mistake. Experience rewards are shocking. Uh, I can probably go a bit further out to be fair. Try and get something higher level. Over here, maybe. Uh, I have to go this way. Well, that's not great. Let's get this show on the road. Try and take note of how much Windblade does against the Kaku, and then if we find another Kaku, work out how much Peck does. So it's a little over half. I realised poisoning wasn't the best idea if I'm trying to gauge how much the respective attacks do, but hey, there we go. I am not a smart guy. While I appreciate the, um, like the action camera demonstrating that something's happening, having a text pop up would be incredibly useful. way more experience than Pahara. I just kind of loiter in this patch of grass, I guess. Also, I've just noticed that only some Temtem have an intro cry, which is cool. So... I haven't seen this animation yet. So that's about a third of the health. Oh, you can race the speed of other Temtem. I see. 
Uh, I did peck first, if you're wondering, because it's a physical attack and Swally can lower physical attack values. However, Windblade is a special attack and it cannot lower that attack value. Yep, special attack is the way to go. It's of course also entirely possible that the same type of attack bonuses apply in this game as in other similar games. But that's good to know. Oh, I also believe that every attack uh, attacks always hit. Um, I don't think there's a random chance that they'll miss. Please get a new move. Ah, uh, why? Why me? Oh well, I guess I'll keep babysitting it. Probably stream for another 10 minutes, that means 2, and two hours 10 minutes of streaming. Um, and gives me time to do stuff around the house when partner returns. Mainly it's wash the dishes, pretty much that's all I need to do, but um, needs doing. So. You get toxic spores and you get toxic spores, everybody gets toxic spores. There'll be an upgraded version of moves like that, or if their damage just um, stays relative to the Temtem's relevant stat value. Guess I'll never know, or I won't know for a while. I guess I could have poisoned the other one. Whoops. Never mind. Hopefully the poison does its job this turn. Ah, stamina conservation. Should have been checking that one. I imagine that poison effects Toxic effects are special, so we're getting there, chat. Perhaps by four o'clock my time, I will have three level nine temtem. The grind is real, and I love it. Twitch. Uh, I can. Oh, hang on. Oh, damn it. Only one of you has an offensive capability to remove you from the playing field. Oh, I see what I was misinterpreting as as, as costs reducing opponent's stamina, uh, attacks reducing opponent's stamina now. It's just because they were attacking immediately afterwards, so I was kind of looking up there and seeing the stamina come down. OBS, if you could stop dropping frames, that would be great. The game is a steady 60 FPS, if anyone was curious.
have to rest up Kaku now. That's fine. Their job is done. I, I also like how it shows you opponent. Uh, uh, I guess opponent is the right word. Opponent Temtem gender, but not your own Temtem's gender. That seems like a bit of a. Um, you know what? Let's just make sure. That seems like a bit of an oversight. Rest up. So close to level 9. This will do it. They'll put him over the edge. I will have peaked. Just rest up. Swally can do literally no damage, so I'm at no danger yet. I have more danger from letting Pahara exert themselves. Lose health that way. Nine. And then I'll use the uh, trainers further up the route to give Crystal, to give everything a bit more experience when it becomes relevant. Uh, we'll go with. See how the caterpillar moves. It apparently hops. It's got mad hops. I don't suppose it really matters. Oh! Toxic double against nature, eh? Well, that's good to know. Can't wait to forget that, of course, but there we go. But I'm expecting things like toxic spores don't benefit from bonus damage for type effectiveness, because they're more of a passive um, effect. That was the wrong move. Never mind. The battle's mine anyway. I think its eyes turn to spirals when it when the Kaku got knocked out. That's pretty cool. So what does this do again? Oh! So just automatically poison? That's cool. I should have known that there's no random chance of poisoning and status effects. They either do or they don't. Should have been paying more attention right now. Got the move. Manage my stamina better, that's something I really need to remember. Hmm. Nope. That's the one. <laughs> it's 
scratch for victory. Nibble for victory. Slightly more damage. Oh, it's still the ground pound. Yes. I guess that's um, Tataru's animation for physical attacks. speaking. Can you not? Can you not raise your defense? You're just prolonging the inevitable at this point, Swaley. It did you no good. Bye bye I guess it was with some experience. battle go back to heal up and then I'll wrap up the stream try and get this up on YouTube it's gonna take so long to upload ah minute 720 oh what have we got we've got a sick guy Tataru use nibble uses nibble present tense Kaku uses toxic spores So something great about the naming convention in this game uh, is that the names are not all based on English puns. They're based on languages from all over the world. Uh, I say English puns like plays on words usually in English um, in competing JRPGs of the same style. Pokemon. Um, yeah, the names in this are taken from languages all around the world. So, uh, there's kind of added very similitude, I guess, but also it saves on localization. Uh, the game, I believe, is going to be available in English, Spanish, and French, but I could be wrong. Uh, but they'll fight whatever happens to crop up along the way back, and then. Um, Taking the long way back, uh, and then wrap up the stream after healing. I mean, obviously, there's a four-level difference between my Tataru and the Paharo, but jeez, Paharo does not have much health. It is, it is going down quickly and effectively. I wish it had something better than the poisoning. Why did I do that on Paharo as well? That was a wasted turn. Never mind. against anything from Tataru. Should have poisoned the Tataru. I knew I was going to take out the Bahara this turn. Oh well. It's not like I'm going to be punished that greatly for the mistake. A tiny bit of toxic damage. Might be important, who knows. It wouldn't have been important, I could have skipped the animation. And you're dead. Knocked out. Unconscious. Beaten. Vanquished. Synonyms.
I'm gonna just hang around in that first patch of grass if nothing else jumps out at me. To get him, to get to push him to level 8. Hopefully. Uh, so. Poison the Tataru. You fool. the Kaku that's going to level. I might swap out the Tataru just to be sure. Screw it. This is going to backfire so hard, chat. I should have been paying more attention to which one was closer to leveling. I hope it wasn't Tataru. Please let me send out another Tam Tam. Oh, it's Kaku. Yes! It has an offensive move. That is everything I needed. Uh, I don't really care who's closest to leveling up. Oh, I've only got one of the level 6 Temtem. I guess it'll be Swaley. Oh, that's cool. I dig that animation. I dig the animation as well so much. It is so cute. Uh, squad. Oh, to be fair, at this point. Nope. Cancel. Select. Swap. And get out of the grass. Back to Ina's house to get that free heal. And I think that is where we will wrap up for today. So thank you for coming by. Um, it's been two hours and 20 minutes. It's going to take a long time to upload this to YouTube on my internet. Um, obviously, if you come in at the end of the stream, you want to watch the beginning. Everything goes up on YouTube at uh, the Comrade Bubbles channel. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I stream this on Twitch at the Comrade Bubbles channel. Um, obviously, subscribe to know when I upload to YouTube. Follow me on Twitch to know, to know when I go live on Twitch. And... Um, I guess until next time, just